Hello all, Shoestring here. Today in our series of the basics, we're going to talk about the inverter. We're not going to get deeply involved. As the title said, just the basics. Okay, so what does an inverter do? An inverter takes power that you have stored, DC power, like from this battery right here, and it converts it into AC power that you can actually use, such as to plug in your electrical devices, plug in a USB. And that there's lots of different types of inverters. This is a fairly inexpensive one you can get from Walmart, right? Under $40 generally. And that's what it does. It's simple. It has two connections. So you can put on a negative and positive cable, right? has a couple of fuses, a fan to cool it down. Most of them have these. Off and on switch, USB ports, and of course, an electrical uh, connection where you can just plug your devices in. It's actually very simple to use. All you have to do is come to your connections. And all of these, that I know of anyway, come with the proper cables, okay? So you don't have to worry about buying the right size cable. They normally come with them. We'll connect the plus to the plus, right? Which is the positive. Then we're going to do the negative. And all of them, inverters, are just about this simple. It's now connected, positive, positive, negative to negative. And then we do the same thing over to the battery, right? Alligator clips, connect it to the positive, connect it to the negative, just like that. And then we come over to the inverter where we saw it had an off and on switch. And we'll turn it on. You hopefully heard that sound. You'll see it's come on, right? Most of them will give you basic information. Now, some won't have this display. Some do. It'll tell you the state of charge, and it says 12.7 volts, which is how much this AGM battery is charged up at the moment. Now, we can take this, and we can plug our devices in, and we can turn on a fan, and we can turn on a light, and you will have power when the power in your area or at your house goes out and you can run your devices for as long as the battery has power. So the larger the battery is, the more power it holds, the longer your inverter will run whatever device you have plugged in. We're going to show you that in just a moment. All right, so here we are in a regular configuration you might have. We have a table, we have a lamp. Here's the battery. It's connected to the inverter, right? We'll go ahead and plug it in. They're plugging the lamp in, that is. Turning the inverter on. Give it a moment to come on, and it has same information that you saw before. And now we'll turn the lamp on. And as you saw, the lamp came on. The inverter says 12.7, now it says 12.6, it dropped just a point. So 12.6 now, and it is running that lamp. So if the power was out in your house, this inverter would keep your lamp running for a while, a fan, and whatever else electrical you want to use. Now, point out, all inverters have a size, right? This one is 400 watts, so we don't want to use anything more Plug in anything more than 400 watts, which, of course, this lamp is like is about 21 watts, so much smaller than what's needed. You could plug in the lamp and a fan, which is about 50 watts. For these little devices, 400 is actually quite a bit. Okay, so that is what an inverter is and how an inverter works. Once again, all it does is take the power, DC power you have stored in a battery, changes it to DC to AC, where you can plug a device in, like this lamp, and run it for as long as your power is out, depending on how much power you have from the battery.
All right. Do you have any questions on that? Put it down in the comments, please. If you like this, please like, subscribe, share this video if you know anyone that may need this information. And shoestring out.